The Senate on Wednesday passed for second reading a bill for an act to make provisions for Nigeria Gold Reserve Industry Framework and other related matters. The bill was sponsored by Senator Natasha Aboti Udwagan, representing Kogi Central. During her lead debate, Senator Aboti Udwagan emphasized that the Nigerian Gold Reserve Bill is a proactive measure aimed at harnessing and maximizing the country's gold reserves. Permit me to lead the debate on the general principles of the Nigerian Gold Reserve Bill 2024. The bill seeks to make provisions for the legal and institutional framework for the creation and management of gold reserves in Nigeria to improve the value of our currency as well as serve as a hedge against inflation and ensure stability of the economy vis-a-vis -vis our monetary system and policy. The gold reserves are critical for the economic stability of a country, acting as a reliable store of value, particularly during financial uncertainties. The gold standard was a global practice in the late 1800s and a significant part of the 1900s. During that era, countries backed the value of their paper money with gold by establishing a fixed exchange rate between their currency and a specific amount of gold. Essentially, each unit of currency issued had a corresponding value in gold, and individuals could exchange their, mo their paper money for actual gold at this set rate. She noted that countries like Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa are shining examples of how strategic utilization of gold reserves can yield significant economic benefits. The majority of the senators who contributed to the debate supported the bill, describing it as a legislation that would unlock the full value of Nigeria's gold reserve, boost the nation's non-oil revenue, and shore up the value of the Naira tremendously, even without foreign investment. The bill, after consideration, was referred by Senate President Gatuel Ababio to the Committee on Solid Minerals, Banking, Finance and Insurance, and given four weeks to report back to the Senate in plenary.